Give us an update. On? Give us an update on the fucking business. The business is still booming. It was booming last week, it's booming more now. Especially because Nick owes somebody 50 bucks. Why does he owe you 50 bucks? No, not me. Some guy in the Discord. He sent, sent him a picture of his hand. Look at this. That's his hand? Yeah. Damn. So Nick owes him 50 bucks. We'll see if he actually does it. What, I owe him 50 bucks? Because you said if anybody has a nub hand, you'll give him 50 bucks. If anybody has a stupid fucking face, I'll give him 50 bucks. Dude, you just got 50 bucks. Yeah. yeah. You're rich. Get it over. Most money I've made all year. Most money you've gotten from him. It was in a video. I was just like, go download the Underdog app, and if, if you don't have any hands, if you don't have any fingers to download it, then I'll give you 50 bucks. What are the fucking chances? How'd that guy even click on the video? That's what I'm saying. There's a bunch of people on there that were like, I don't have hands. And I was like, how'd you type it? And they'd put like a foot emoji. And I was like, fair. Go spy on Jack. Guy the guy opened a ticket in the, in the BG3. What'd he say? I think he wants me to smuggle him something. You should definitely do that. You should definitely smuggle things for random just for the people. He was at the Giants tailgate. He's not around. Should I do it? You should definitely do it, that's for sure. While I'm getting my visa approved? Just right. like, sorry, I'm just smuggling shit in here while I'm trying to get like, approved. That's how you build a personal brand. Yeah, it's by doing things like that. <laughs> at scale. That would be a good smuggler. I could do it. How do you figure? I look so like what? What's the word? You're gonna say innocent? Yeah, innocent. That's the word. Wow. Well, I see like I don't see any innocent about you. I it's immediately assume you're putting things up your butt. <laughs> smuggle. So basically best case scenario I smuggle shit in. Worst case scenario I get a nice finger up my butt. Win win. Which sounds like best case scenario for you. Take it. I'll take that deal any day of the week. Oh, I have a reputation to uphold in this company. Dude, this is a great background. You guys waste it here. You should have. You should do an open bar for, on Fridays, five to midnight. We didn't bring you in here to talk about content. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, I don't want that one. I don't think I've ever drank here. You never drank here? Yeah. Really? I keep it professional. These are what are these tequilas um, drinks called that you make? Margaritas. Nah, better. Do more. What do you mean? More. So no more I can Hey do. Nick, what do you call this drink? Mark? Damn. Again, more. <laughs> I don't understand what you're doing. You use right a now. monster to like incorporate the names. Give a funny pun. An action. Don't like you're not a director on Nick, the set. Hey Nick, what do you You're not a what director do you, on the set. What do you set. call these drinks? You're gonna fuck my Marg making up right now. What Just, is it called? It's a golden margarita. Cut. So silver tequila, Patroni. So you use two different types of tequilas. Mm-hmm. What was the first one you used? Don't worry about it. This is out of control. How are you going to try to make content with me? You're, you don't even know what I'm making. What is it called? Exactly. Tell me. You don't know. <laughs> do you know? I do. I might. We might do three different types of tequila. Don't do that. Dude, I haven't eaten today. What the fuck does that? I'm going to take a sip and it'll be wasted. It's tequila. It gets masked by all the other good shit anyway. I don't think I've ever been mad on tequila. You? Ever what? Mad on tequila. I, don't, I feel like I don't really get like mad when I'm drunk ever. Okay, Chad. All right. Well, that's it. Here's your mark sheet. Dude, no. <laughs> All right, uh, we've got tequila. We've got triple sec. I don't even remember how many shots of tequila I put in there. I put three. That's not true. Yeah. No, I put more. Okay, we need more. Wait, don't put more then. No, that's fine. Triple sec. Uh, can you get the lime juice from the fridge, Steve? There's also an actual lime in there, too. Secret. It doesn't matter, just fucking come on. He's panicking. He doesn't know what he's doing. Get two cocktail glasses too. You don't have any. Dude, Catch. I'm doing the hard part. You, I don't even flinch. He did. I feel like it's like the Kobe video where, he, where the guy fucking does that. Matt Barnes. Damn it, I was gonna ask you who did it. So I I'm a trivia god. You did pretty well today. I want all of them. That's the dullest knife Yeah, ever. this knife, it's just been like sitting in water <laughs> for fucking years. This margarita brought to you by Los Dos. Use promo code TRAP. Get you 0% off. Oh, that Are you smirking? No salt? 
Melted heat. You, I, I told you to get the salt. And you were like, well, I'm not getting anything for you. Cheers. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Oh. <clears throat> it's not bad, but you can't have more than one. Really, I think it's vile. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the first mark I've ever made. It has really bad appetite. New world. I haven't checked in on the vlog in a while. It's like April 20, uh, not April, August 23rd, I think. And my live draft weekend is two days away. For those of you who are not familiar with what I'm even doing, in a couple days this weekend, from August 24th to the 26th, I'm bringing out, it's going to be eight of my subscribers to New York City. I rented out an Airbnb. It's like this awesome, awesome, awesome Airbnb in Manhattan. We are doing a live fantasy football draft, right? And they're, and they're coming for the weekend. We're staying Friday to Sunday. We're going to hang out, go out Friday night. Saturday night basically you know just like connect and, and hang out and network and and do a fantasy football draft of course because that's what my channel centered around this could be the future of what I'm doing uh, and this could be a, a huge proponent of my business and this is a big piece of showing off my brand right like when I'm trying to build this brand I'm trying to build a personality behind it this weekend is my story I guess when I get down to it what I'm trying to build is a fantasy football lifestyle brand and there's no other way for me to exemplify that than through what this weekend is about uh it's you know combining two of my favorite things and that's fantasy football and doing hood rat things with my friends in new york city so hard at something for so long and it's things like this that remind you that there are people that really appreciate the work that you do and that kind of shit just like reinvigorates me as, as a person and as a creator I love these weekends so much it just means so much to me and like the dudes that come out each weekend or each summer are like I consider them like my brothers man like those dudes will always have such a special special place in my heart I expect this one to be, I mean, last one was fucking awesome, but I expect this one to be the best that we've done up to this point, because obviously we have a lot more resources. We are planning for the first time ever. Given that time, I think we could do a lot of creative cool things and like build on what we've done. Uh, so I've laid out like 10 kind of quick bullet points that I want to get through that are all kind of all over the place, but different things that I feel like will help bring everything together. By the end of it, I think we'll have a good idea of like what next steps and where we need to go for this are. Uh, first one is the date. I mean, it's going to be the same weekend as always. I don't know how my birthday continues to land there every single time, but Friday the 25th through Sunday the 27th. The next weekend is Labor Day, and then the NFL kicks off September 7th on that Thursday. This has to be the weekend. There's no other weekend for us to do it. Um, location for the Airbnb. We did it in Lower East Side last time. I think this will probably just come with us looking at different Airbnbs and kind of seeing what's available and seeing what's in the price range um, and stuff like that. So I'm not really like too concerned about the location. It'll be somewhere downtown, Lower East Side. Obviously, we probably want to bring them here at one point, just to, like show it to them, but either way, it's really easy to get around. Uh, members, okay, so we need 11. You were in it last time. We'll, we'll want to get like 11 non-BG team members, yeah, obviously. Okay, so we need 11. I texted everyone that was in the last weekend, as well as like a couple from the weekend prior mm -hmm. to get a feel for like who's in and who's not. 
uh, waiting for a few people to, waiting for like half of that group to get back to me. Big John's in, Jordan's in, Nick is in, uh, Rocco can't make it, but I'm still waiting on Pierce, Brett, EJ, Austin, Kyle, and LJ. I told them to let me know by the end of next week. So by next Friday, they'll let me know. Um, and then I'm probably, I, I started collecting their email addresses. So once we have like the 11 people, I'll probably have you doing the communication in terms of like collecting money. We'll sit down and figure out like an actual process for that. Uh, once we get them together, I think in terms of like planning for what we're actually gonna do the weekend, obviously we usually have a good skeleton for it. And I think like leaving flexibility open for just like letting the weekend come to us is good. Uh, but I do think what we should probably do is send them out like a survey to see what they want to do. You know, I, I don't know if, whether it's like going out or working out versus basketball versus us not forcing them to do that kind of shit. Like just, you know, getting a feel for what they want. Cause we've always just kind of been like, this is our weekend. We'll plan it for you. You come out, you don't have to worry about anything, but I think it'll be good to um, see what kind of stuff that they want to do uh, in terms of like pricing and budget. So what we had done the previous years, honestly, it doesn't matter. We're going to, we're going to do 2k. Yes. It doesn't matter if your grandfather in or whatever 2k. I think we have to be based on the fact that it's the prices in New York are like crazy this time around. Uh, we also have 10, 10 K from underdog to sponsor the weekend. So we definitely have flexibility. Um, so if we do 2k times, you know, 11, we'll have 22 plus 10, 32, that gives us, you know, obviously the, the expenses for food, for going out, like we go to the rooftop bars, whatever, getting bottles, that kind of shit. Um, the Airbnb will probably be the largest expense for it. The one that we did last time, I'd be down to get it again. I've seen it on Airbnb, but I think it's like double, uh, double, if not like two and a half X the price this time around. Uh, I don't know if it's necessary, but it's hard to find places that sleep, you know, 15 to 20 people in New York that have like decent prices. Uh, but with this budget, we should be good. But we, we, you know, we have some room to kind of like be flexible and creative with the way that we want to spend that. Again, like don't really care if we make any money from this. It's just, it's kind of fun to like break even and just make sure the weekend's really cool. Location for going out and stuff. I know like we've, we've talked about this a few times. Basically the way we've always done it was, or the way that we did it last year, I thought the setup in terms of like fitting things into pieces went well. Like they got in there at Friday. We did the draft almost ASAP. Mm -hmm. like five o'clock or something like that, four or five o'clock. And then we had the party that night on Friday. I think we should do the same setup again. I thought that was like awesome. And then it leaves Saturday open for kind of whatever we want to do. Saturday, last time we got up, we like showered, whatever, or played basketball, showered, went out to brunch at Gave, went to Washington Square Park for the picnic, came back, ate, went out to, I think, Maple Leaf rooftop. Yeah. And we were kind of out there for the rest of the night. Uh, but we have, you know, obviously a ton of open space for that day. And I don't know if I want to like do the same exact thing again, you know, God, Washington Square Park, we should probably switch it up. But we had talked about like maybe not going to a rooftop and going to somewhere that's more catered towards them. Those guys who are like really into sports. Do we want to go to like tailgate in Brooklyn? I don't know if you've been there or not. We've yeah. been, tailgate in Brooklyn's like a cool spot that we could go during the day, but then like taking them all the way to Brooklyn might be kind of like annoying and a big like time zap. But I'm kind of like open to different, figuring out how we maneuver around that day, as well as like spots to go out on. Um, definitely open to a non-rooftop on Saturday. I think, I think like most of the rooftops are good as long as they're not like, DJ focus. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I mean, I feel like the last, what are we, three times we did a rooftop? And, um, like, these guys like it, but I I, I, I don't think the lore is there. Like, we just spent a shit ton of money for no reason. Yeah. Because, like, we're, and then we get stuck in a little, like, a little section where, like, let's be honest, just people come that don't even know what we're about and just, like, drink our shit. And then we have more people that we do know. So it just goes crazy. So I just don't like the rooftop for these guys anymore. I think it's just like, it's a cool scenery, but I think they would have more fun at like a sports bar or even like a bar where we can like, like knock out a whole corner or something, which I think would probably be the same price, but then they can they do either or, you know, I think we just get so stuck in rooftops. Yeah, so I think that's probably one of our, we need to figure out like Saturday, how we want to plan out the day. Taking them to a rooftop. And it's just we're just sitting there drinking. To your point, what's the point? Like, you know, like they're not gonna try to talk to no girls. Like, what if they just want to hang out with the dudes, you know, make play bar games and just like chill? I think there's like a middle ground to it. Yeah, no, I because think there if, is. Uh... If we stick them in a place where it's just like TVs and shit, that that's what we're gonna get. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think kind of bringing them out, we can find a place I think that offers that, both. Yeah. You want to like pull them out of their, you know, yeah. their shell a little bit. And by I Saturday would... night, they will be like completely out. So when they come, they can just chill, pick a room, we draft. And then I can start setting up at a party with other people, you know. So like they don't see that yeah. part, and I think that's what we need to do. So they start here, 
we go there. Yeah, they're all, we're always like putting them in a coffee shop and be like, yeah, you can come soon, you can come soon. Yeah, yeah. like so, like they're always just, like right at the front door. Like, yeah, like just come right here. Yeah. Sexy Tony will be here. Yeah, that's fine. We go there. Uh, we do the party on Friday night, Saturday. Like you said, ready to the agave. We should probably probably pick another place where they would like it, and then. Um, yeah, you think brunch is a move on that Saturday? I don't know, because you were also talking about like maybe bringing someone in, like you know, so that also could be a thing. We can just cater something at the house if we get a nice house. Yeah, we need to figure out like. So what I was thinking is yeah, like we have extra money. I don't even know if we'll need money, and this is where I think the survey might come into play. Is like it would be cool because I'm thinking back at the weekend that we have a Dan. Like mm -hmm. when when she, when he brought other people in to like talk to us, like there was so much value. I was so much value. It was really inspiring. Like meeting, like being able to hear those people talk and and give give like that very personal connection was super super valuable. I guess what I'm trying to wrap my head around is like, what do these guys care about? Because they're not like yeah. they're not like other, like we were trying to start businesses and be entrepreneurs. So it was like you know people who were successful in business. It's like do they just want to hear sports people? Like I could see if like Brett Coleman wants to come in for the weekend, like I could fly him out, we put some budget towards that. Like me and two other people to do like a in person like thirty five minute fantasy episode. You know what I mean? Like if we pick yeah. a topic, talk about that, or they want mm -hmm. you know other shit. Yeah. And I yeah I don't, I, I don't really know without asking them. So I think that would be cool. That would be cool to like start the morning. I think yeah. you know if, if it was or at like noon or whatever. We did that for like an hour, an hour and a half, whatever. Hung out whoever we brought. Like the people can kind of chop it up with and like. You know, just ask them whatever personal questions they want, and then we could brunch or go out after or do whatever we want to do. I think that some, somebody in the fancy space makes sense just because mm -hmm. we know that's the common thing that everybody who's going to be at that weekend likes. It's mm -hmm. fancy, so you're, everybody's going to like it no matter what. Yeah, yeah, th those are kind of up in the air, I guess, until we get that stuff. We'll have to figure out Saturday what we want to do, locations. So in terms of, like... Gift baskets, obviously, like a very minor, minute thing here. Um, this is something we've always done before. I feel like we should probably get like a little more, I don't know, personal with it, maybe like something custom, even if it's like the merch is custom, but not like printful drop shipping type bullshit merch. Something that we can, I don't, I don't know what we want to give if it's. I think something custom would be cool though. I think what else might be in that survey, you ask them what their favorite team is. Because you can get them, I have like a little Saints helmet thing mm -hmm. that I like keep in my room. And like, it doesn't need to have their name on it, but it would be, that's something that's like really personal that you're yeah. like, oh wow. Like, they, like I think about when Brett used to do the big helmets and I was like, just imagine it's like, yeah. they get BDDE gear, but then they also get like something that's yeah. like personal to them. Like we did that too for work. Like they asked them what our favorite snack was and it was in our in our rooms, like the snack. Oh room. really? You know, something yeah, like yeah. super personal. Yeah, yeah. That, that's something. You know, yeah, like, yeah. oh, you like Twizzler? Here's Twizzler, there's the BDG merch. You can do like a little plush man. football, like whatever, yeah, yeah. that team. That would actually be kind of fire if we like, if we did it like that, where we asked them, we got many helmets, and then when they got to the Airbnb, like their rooms were already kind of like, yeah, we, picked we, out yeah. based on the helmet. We gotta make this a little more just like, like, you know, yeah, forward, yeah. like just like set them in, you know? Yeah. So, well, cause like, <laughs> nowhere in New York, gives you a 12 bedroom so you know people are going to be sharing too which yeah is, that, that was my first thought too is like there's going to be like a bed with like two helmets on it facing each other and the Falcons yeah. on the other. Yeah. Tony can't drink until the party starts I get to go like, like a garbage bag and like hang these up and I just saw all of them in the one spot and Tony's like I did oh yeah, <laughs> like, Tony, no. Tony was yeah <laughs> So, Tony was enjoying himself. Yeah. <laughs> Tony did not care. <laughs> He's um, at that point. Okay, yeah, so gear basket is something I definitely want to like put a little more thought into. Yeah, but it's already monkey. Like, yeah, I think like last time we just had, we had like 10 sweatshirts, like three didn't even fit half the guys. I got like there. 10 at home still. Okay. Like all small. That makes sense. Yeah. Why people are still texting me that they don't have <laughs> sweatshirts. Uh, the party, I, I, don't, I don't know if That's we need to discuss that now, but I was thinking we could throw around some themes. I wouldn't even be mad about running back the bring your own cup. I thought that was a fucking phenomenal thing. Yeah. The dress up themes are always cool too though. Dress up themes are good. I just like, I like having, uh, because if you think about it, I think a lot of the people that came that night were kind of just like, probably didn't even know about it until a couple hours before. So I don't want to like put pressure on people Who are, like, to feel like they need to like show up in a fucking costume or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I think the cup theme is like kind of perfect because you can find anything in your house that's like stupid, but also kind of funny. I thought I thought it was good. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be opposed to running it back. I'm open to ideas, but. yeah. Honestly for music, we should just put a, a Spotify open and you like put a put a song in there. Everyone gets a request. And it would be cool if everyone at the party like we just had them write down a song. We could just do a QR code somewhere. Yeah. Like, exactly. Put that out in the beginning. Like don't come up till you put a song in this mm -hmm. shit. Also, I know like because like during a party you're enjoying yourself and shit. Um, I saw a thing, this for weddings, but it's an app. Like you put a QR code up and every picture and video someone takes just gets sent to us. 
you know, oh, that's dope. so I think we should use that's that dope. for the montage because oh, like it gets hard, that's dope. you know. Yeah. So there's a I'll find it. Well, it also makes it more authentic too. Yeah, right? like, like, like their point of views and shit. Yeah. Um, I think that's pretty cool. It's like that's dope. Um, yeah. So we we don't need a like you're drinking and then <laughs> we just hand the camera to this guy that's <laughs> always drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was the other thing I was going to talk about. Filming, obviously Noah will be there to help us out, but we need other people on cameras. Um, and I think one, just one of the thoughts I had, and that just was like an idea, So, and I have to find an example of it. I was really wondering if we could look into like, and this is why we need more filming, like more people to film, like a docu-style type thing. Yeah. Like the what I've been doing kind of is like, you know, just grabbing people. Yeah. I'm talking like a full, like a real documentary of yeah. like the draft weekend where somebody could like sit and watch 25 minutes and they're just like yo this yeah. is a dope documentary and i just know just because like people are enjoying some of the netflix documentaries that are coming out and like that type of style would be cool really but so yeah shoot to make this because it like ele it elevates it up yeah. a little bit more too um what do you think we can go to for that do you know people what to do the docu style yeah like, like so that's what i would that's what i i would take on is like i would oh, take okay. on doing the docu style then i would have like whoever else could we could get to film would film like the promo stuff that I typically do. Gotcha. Usually. Okay. Okay. Like so you're you're like you're like uh, maneuvering around the storyline as the weekend's happening, and someone else is like exactly. catching all the dumb shit that's Ex happening. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. We could definitely do that. I almost feel like the dumb shit is it, it doesn't would, need to be high like quality. Like the QR code. That's why that works. Um, yeah. Like him having a camera. Pick up a camera. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, dude, you still have something that I can strap in my chest. I'm already married. I have that I too. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm already married. I'm not talking to nobody but Heather. So I'll have, I'll have that shit on my shit strap yeah, for the no, party. We can definitely still, and I, you know me, I got plenty of cameras, so I can definitely have things. But I was just like, yo, it would be really dope to launch like, a drop with a doc. Yeah, yeah, that would be really dope. cool. Yeah, no, I like that a lot, actually. That's cool. We got to figure out, like, manpower. Exactly. With that. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I'm good for, because if I could just dedicate myself to that, mm -hmm. I'm good. Like, I'm, I'm straight. I can get that. It's just to make sure that we're getting all the other stuff. Because there was like funny things where like when I saw people just acting up, I was like, you know, I gotta get this. Yeah. yeah. Um, Even that, like you were the one man crew. I feel like we we miss so much from last weekend too. You know, there's just so much happening because there's so many exactly. people there the whole fucking time. I mean, can you like put some in out? Like I feel like there's past few people in New York there. Yeah, I feel like, like yeah, probably. I just feel like we probably know people on our network that fucking do video work. Yeah. I mean, are they but then always the problem. Dude, they don't know what to get. Like, you're such a, like, you need brand and stuff, style. like, they're like, oh, I don't want to film this because he's going to take a shot and they look dumb. It's like, that's exactly no, what But you know, but that's where just I, hire, like, two kids and do, like, film everything. Yeah. And, and this is where I would say, too, where, like, if you need me to take more of, like, a leadership role, where, like, yeah. I can meet with them and, like, hey, guys, this is yeah. what I captured. Exactly. This is what I was looking into. Like, here are some videos, like, and then, like, kind of have them as, like, my team of, like, hey, guys, this is what we want to capture. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like the guy. Who's a fucking kid from Penn State? Mikey. Oh, yeah. Mikey, baby. Mikey for the weekend. <laughs> I'll hit him up. You should. Maybe he'll fucking come for the weekend. He might be down. I'll tell you what, I'm fucking faded. <laughs> I can't. I can't drink this. Oh, dude. It's loose. Yeah, I'm definitely. <laughs> I was like, all right. All right. Back to number one again. Now that we've talked through everything, yeah. let's rethink things. Yeah. Um, yeah. Connecting it still with football. Maybe I mean maybe we should have like a fucking uh, the, the tough part. I was gonna say like a Madden tournament would be cool, but we're so time constrained. Exactly, and that's where like stuff. maybe it's like football. Like yeah. that maybe you guys do flag football. I mean we play basketball. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I think it's just more of like again keeping with the theme. Like yeah. it's like you're it's yeah, like yeah. just solidifying your brand more and more and more versus like yeah we're a bunch of guys that hang out, which is still the vibe we want. Yeah, but it still gives it like that essence of like here's our brand. It's flag football. Yeah. Hmm. We can have him lace up the pads. 
You want to just do like a real football game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, that. <laughs> Sign away, yo. Big Chris. Yeah. No way. That's, what, that's exactly what I thought about. Like, yo, Chris was not going to be out. Running back, yeah. Just give the ball for everything. <laughs> There's a few soccer fields around. I don't know if you can use that. No, soccer field. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Noah. Happy birthday to oh, you. I appreciate it. Hey, how did she have your number? You big old bitch. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> how does this work? Wow, we have to put it in his DM. <laughs> <laughs> that's no, that's no. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Make a wish and then uh, we'll get the You know the rules. You've done this enough, <laughs> right? Yeah. The boy oh, still got it. He still got it. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Let's go. Look at us. That was a that was a mess. <laughs> it was actually really good. Yo, that yeah. actually like mad surprise, man. I was like, you did? Yeah, no, I, 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 I saw you look. I was like, why is Steve like creeping in? And then I was like, she was being Chris. Okay, good I figured you saw it somewhere. I saw you looking over, and I was trying. Bro, I my eyes. Like say something like, no. Like, grab Take my vitamins today. Can I take them instead? Sure. They're I'll take that bullet for you. You take fish oil? You do? I've heard good things about it. It's good for your brain. I'm trying to transform what I've heard. it into a mermaid. You also take that, what's it called? Ashwanda? Is that what Aaron like Rodgers takes? Like it has nothing to do with being fast. No, that's. Have you ever taken what? Maybe maybe I'm getting confused with what Aaron Rodgers takes. What does Aaron Rodgers take? Ayahuasca. Ayahuasca. Yeah, that, no, I'm thinking of that no, is not that's that's like a hallucinogen. Yeah, yeah, no, there's <laughs> that's like a your past. don't take that. There's like a legal steroid called yeah, Ashwanda or something. I definitely don't take that. <laughs> legal steroid is all I need to hear. That's what I'm saying. To want it. You take trend? I just take steroids. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not the legal kind though. Why do something legally? <laughs> when you can do it illegal. I take illegal fiber. I'm happy for you. What's the difference between illegal and legal fiber? Well, it's not allowed. <laughs> Why? Because it's too strong. It's too good. It's too much fiber in a day. That doesn't make sense. You don't know about this? I thought you were a smart person. <laughs>